It's been 35 years since the second deadliest tornado in Canadian history ripped through parts of Edmonton and Strathcona County. The twister killed 27 people, injured hundreds more, and caused millions of dollars in damage. Many who lived through it say they'll never forget the scariest day of their lives. We didn't really know what it was until it actually got there. It was a surprise to everybody. At the time, Bulmer was the manager of the Evergreen Mobile Home Park, which was heavily damaged by the tornado. The place was bombed out. We lost uh, about a third of our uh, trailers. A lot has changed since then. Modern day technology allowing meteorologists to better detect incoming storms. Our radars today have um, higher precision. Um, they're faster, they get us more frequent images, uh, and they can send out a, a beam much farther that can um, tell us where there is rotation in these storms that can help us better predict these tornadoes today. Fajur says Alberta sees an average of 12 to 15 tornadoes each year. So far, the province has confirmed six. However, many are still under investigation, including a destructive storm that ripped through Hines Creek in northern Alberta Saturday. We haven't received reports of tornadoes with them, so we're determining if they were straight line winds or if a tornado did occur in that area. Um, so we are investigating multiple other events, so it could end up being more than six by the end of the summer. Survivors of the 1987 tornado like Chico Bulmer hopes no one ever has to go through a twister like that again. Once was enough, I guess, and uh, I uh, wouldn't want to see it again. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.